Hello. <clears throat> Standing here amid the uh, timbers as the uh, sun appears to go down. And uh, so we're going to run out of light. My guess is that uh, it'll be a brief meditation. I also am trying something different with the microphone. wind protection on the mic, which isn't aimed very perfectly, but I'm trying, so we might get good sound that then goes out as the little mic thing uh, waggles off to the side. For example, now I think it's pointed right at me, and now it's waggled off to the side. Now it's pointed at me. Maybe there's a difference. So thanks for helping me do this little test. But I thought I'd do a little meditation here next to the construction project. Uh, it's interesting because I made a few notes about meditation the other day. I wrote on a little pad, and I think we did that, maybe in the bomb shelter, but I don't quite recall. Um, so this may be the same theme, and I may change my mind. And if it's the same theme, I expect it'll be relatively different anyway. As I haven't been repeating traditional meditations. So I'm going to try and have this little grabby tripod grab onto this ladder in the construction zone and uh, see if I'm just kind of looking at how the feet work see if uh, see if we can kind of grab things together a little bit and sort of wobbling things around probably terrible for you guys But I am just now learning that this will flip when I do that, which I did not think it would do. Or, or it didn't before. Maybe that's a maybe that's a Facebook presto changeo kind of a thing. Now I'm going to mount it a little bit smarter. And that means I'm going to move the mic around a bit, which is pro pointing at me now, so that may feel a little bit better. So we may be in better shape now, although I don't expect everybody's loving how this is turning out. <laughs> it just fell. Anyway, I think that's uh, why this is a that this is a uh, free cast, I suppose. Yeah. Well. Okay. Well, that's the end of the experiment. I am now going to put the mic on in a more ordinary way. Okay, it is what it is. I think the mic is a little bit pointing towards me. I think I'll just do a low horse stance so I feel like I might be a little bit more lined up with the mic. Anyway, I'm in a construction zone and I have a heavy beam, well three heavy beams above my head. and. They are uh, merely clamped on. Uh, they're not held in with screws or bolts or back up with ties. So it's a nice place to do a meditation. I'm also standing on the end edge of a hole which is collapsing. So all kinds of stuff could go wrong. 
this may become a little Shavasana meditation. But I'm in here in this sort of incomplete place, this incompletely built. So the sort of contemplation I'm going to offer now that I've just said that is a contemplation of, okay, there's the low T stance. There's a contemplation of the incomplete. So we might consider that everything is complete, always necessarily complete. And insofar as we name it, consider it incomplete, it can be helpful to recognize that the incomplete is the name we give to something that is necessarily complete. So for example, you may look at this and say, well, the thing you're building isn't finished. That's an incomplete whatever it is you're building. But it is complete. It's a complete this at this stage. Whatever this is, it's completely this. And if I move the ladder, which we're now balanced on, that thing, which is now slightly different, is complete. If I say that it's incomplete, or think that it's incomplete, or view it as an incomplete thing, then really I'm just comparing what is to how else something can be. So we do this all the time. We do it to children. You may do it to flowers that you've planted that have not bloomed yet. Very easy to look at a construction site. And as long as there's construction workers there, you think of it as incomplete because they're there to work because something's not finished. So finished and complete are not the same thing. Finished is a description of the end point of some process. Complete, we might consider, is the way everything is all the time. So injured. ill health, these are all complete. You are always a complete person. <clears throat> so I'm standing here in what has become my low T stance instead of because of the hole is caving in. And I might very well turn an ankle or fall, but we've had the camera fall. Might as well have me fall. And of course the beam could come crashing on my head or all three of them especially considering it's very windy. Also, no idea if you can hear me. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is use my breath. When I get to the full breath, and then when I get to the empty breath, so I inhale and I get to the point that my breath is full. It's as full as it happens to get for me now. And then when I exhale and that breath leaves and I get as empty as I get. So it doesn't have to be a perfect vacuum, but as empty as I get. So I'm at the full exhalation. I can use those two points as touchstones. I should stay low because that's a little bit better for the mic, I, I'm, I'm guessing. So we can use those as touchstones. Because we do generally, inherently, easily, readily, non-consciously, subconsciously, unconsciously feel those states as complete. The full breath and the empty of breath. But the breath is a spectrum, it's a cycle, it's a process. So every time I get my full breath, whatever amounts to a full breath for me now, and every time I get to an empty breath, whatever amounts to my empty breath now, I'm going to use that as a touchstone to recognize completeness, to feel the state of completeness. And then during the breath process, the breath exhaling, the breath inhaling, the through the process, I'm going to try and recognize moment by moment, or at least step by step, or section by section, 
I'm going to try and recognize that the whole of the breath is complete. It may not be finished, because finished describes something I'm doing, which is emptying my lungs or filling my lungs. But it is complete. And so, I'm going to just use my arms because I have some space here. Inhale. Exhale. So at the bottom, when my fingertips, which face one another, are near my lower belly, I'm relatively empty. I'm as empty as I'm going to get on this breath. Doesn't mean it's good or I'm good at this. And that's my touchstone. That feels really, it's easy for that to feel complete to me. But then this whole time, I'm inhaling now through the nose, this whole process is feeling complete. And now here at this point, I'm full, I'm finished with this inhalation. Again, however imperfect it is. But that's another touchstone of completeness. This feels complete. And then exhale through the mouth. And just having been in that touchstone, feeling into that touchstone, I'm trying to feel that here, recognize that here, and recognize that the completeness is really my opinion or incompleteness is my opinion. The meta opinion is completeness. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Inhale. I'm just actually sinking into my stance as well. And inhale, I'm rising in that same stance. Exhale through the mouth. At the start and finish of this cycle, or at the points at which the cycle changes from in to X or X to in, I'm trying to tune into that natural sense of completeness that I feel and then ascribe that to the rest, recognize it in the rest, see that it is the same as the rest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. So I'm gonna say thank you very much. That was the ladder you were just seeing that was serving as the uh, tripod stand. And uh, just gonna walk around the construction site in the dark because that's safe. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you can see the beams in the background as the light fades. But it's still uh, deep blue enough for me to be able to see all the clouds, but I imagine on the screen it's just dark. But uh, I'll be able to see a little bit of the wisteria here that we were next to, which may be a hint to the construction. And uh, so I'm going to just sign out there. I think I'm going to do a little Zunshuang stake standing uh, as well. So thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow, lest I forget. Love.